a time when the village blacksmith made everything from a needle to an anchor and the local farrier shooed every horse for miles around. The Shannon family continue to forge that link with the past and ensure that these two ancient crafts are not totally lost to mass production. I'm led to believe 97% of all shoes worldwide are machine made. Just about 3% made by hand. All the shoes we put on are handmade. If you're reasonably good at making shoes, it must be a healthier at fitness. It gives a better sense of pride when you're shown that horse at the end of the day. Ted's daughter was the only woman to represent Ireland in the Five Nation Farrier Competitions in England. She came second in her team. Well, most of the boys in Ireland know I'm at it, so it's really all the one to them. But it's when you go to England and places like that, they're watching and they're thinking, uh, wonder how she'll do. And I suppose they're a little bit dubious about it. Is it a case of the quality of your work rather than how quickly you can shoe horse? Well, as Daddy would say, get good force and then get quick. Brilliant, you know, you're born into this job, it's, you know, it goes back generations, I suppose, it's the way of life with us, it's very hard for us to change, you know, to diversify into another line of business at this late stage in our lives, so. Joseph Shannon studied the farrier trade in England and has brought many prestigious awards home from international competitions. Precision is crucial to mastering this ancient craft. In competition shown, if it's not, as the fellow says, if it's not right, it's wrong, but it, particularly with competition shown, it has to be, you know, top-notch, perfect, there's no, there's no room for error, it's just, you know, you're doing everything so fast and you're on the clock, seconds, every second counts, you're just having room for error, so you have to be, you're either there or you're not. And you're up against the best farriers well, in the... Well, in most cases, the best ten in the world anyway. As well as being tops in the farrier business, the Shannons are also talented blacksmiths. They make a wide variety of ornaments and fancy wrought iron gates. But the Shannons are first and foremost farriers, and they delight in sending off a satisfied customer. Probably going to win the derby. Right up. 